Sana Sana Colita de Rana bitches. Okay, so it's not Halloween, but any day is a good day for a scary story. So I know y'all like to get fucking scared, okay? So don't watch this shit at night because you won't be able to go to the restroom. You're going to have to leave a light on. Anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to be scary. <laughs> um, so just be loving scary stories. Y'all love my scary stories. So I got a couple of scary stories for you today from some of y'all that DM'd me. Um, so the sushi, let me introduce what I'm going to be eating. We're going to get to eating and then we're going to get to the story. Um, so I got for you today some sushi from Crispy Rice. So cute. Already, like I haven't even tasted it and I already like it. Because look how cute this is. Like look at how cute the bag is. Look at how cute the box is. You guys, like so fucking cute. Y'all know I love when my food is fucking cute. Like, tell me that's not fucking cute. Tell me that I'm as cute as me. Tell me. The packaging for these are. And then look how cute the napkins are. So cute. Not sponsored, but if they want to sponsor me, Crispy Rice, y'all, I am free and available. Okay. I got my drink here. Let me open up these sushis. Oh, so cute. So, let me get some of this food in my mouth. And then, oh, what is this? Oh, look how cute. They give you a little package of soy sauce. They give you like a little tray to put your soy sauce in. And they give you like a little package of ginger. That is so freaking cute. Let me put my soy sauce and my ginger together really quick. Ooh. I put a little wasabi. Mix it into the soy sauce. I'm gonna get one of these. And look how pretty that is. Oh my god, that's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Let's taste one. Mmm. Mmm. I also got like a little tartar sauce for my little fried shrimp mm. Mm. everything is so delicate Mm. A little ginger. I love the ginger. I love wasabi. I love everything. Okay, let's try. One of these little crispy rice things. So cute. It's like crispy rice with like avocado on top. I'm dip it into the soy sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. I'm going to get into the story right now. Don't trip my little chocolate chips. I'm just tasting the food. I got some cold 7-Up. 
just because I like to take a break on Diet Coke. Y'all know my favorite is Diet Coke. But it's not good for your teeth and it's not good for your intestines or your heart. So you got to take a break sometimes. Okay, so we got a cute little crispy rice with spicy tuna. Mmm. Mmm. So good. And these little things here look so cute. Like little rolls. I'm dip it in soy sauce. Mmm. Ginger. Mmm. <clears throat> I love that the rolls are so little. And they're just bite sized. Because some sometimes they'd be making rolls where like you're like, what the fuck? You're just filling your mouth with a whole lot of stuff. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Cute little rolls. Mmm. So far, so good. Okay. So let's get into the story. Okay, so let's get into the scary stories, you guys, all right? If you're watching this at night, put a light on, okay? Okay, the first story we got is a story that I got from a, a subscriber. And she says that she went to Las Vegas. This is, this is a small story just to get into the bigger story. So she said she went to Las Vegas and she stayed at the Venetian. I think that's what it's called. I couldn't sleep at night, she says. I kept feeling someone looking at me, so I brushed it off. I come home and I look at my pictures and I see a picture and I see a little girl or a doll let me send you the picture so i'm gonna post the picture here tell me what you see okay i'm also gonna post a picture of what she circled where you're supposed to see something um first look at the first picture and then look at the second picture and tell me what you guys see okay what i saw i'm not gonna say what i saw because i don't want to put it in your head please let me know down below what you see in this picture okay so that was a small story she sent me. She just said that she couldn't sleep in the room, in the hotel room. This was in Vegas. And that when she was doing her makeup in the morning, like she kept feeling like someone was staring at her. And she said that she had asked somebody that um, was kind of like in touch with like spirits and stuff like that. And they had told her that that spirit attached to her because it was a little girl and because she was a mother. Um... For me, I honestly don't believe in children's spirits. And that's just me. I, I don't believe that children are left as spirits, are left in limbo, in limbo. I believe it's like something, you know, I don't want to say it right now, but it's something not good, posing as if it's a child. Okay, so that's what I believe. Next story. Now, I chose this story because my family also grew up in the projects. My mom, my biological mother grew up in the projects. I was cultivated and born in the projects okay i'm a project chick okay now i live in la so there's like several different projects around la there's the maravilla projects there's the forestry projects there's dogtown there's different projects okay um so this girl when she said that she used to live in the maravilla projects i knew exactly where she was talking about so she said i used to live in the Mar maravilla projects if y'all don't know what projects are, Google it. If you live somewhere else, 
Um, I'm not getting an attitude. I'm just Latina. So if you don't know, Google it. Um, it's okay to Google things, baby. Okay. I used to live in the Maravilla Projects. If y'all know, y'all know. Y'all from LA, you know. Okay. She says, I used to live in the Maravilla Projects years ago. My niece was maybe about three or so. And she used to hear, we used to hear her talking to someone. She said she used to hear her talking to someone. Now, it's common for children to, like, act like they're speaking to somebody. Same thing, my daughter used to, like, talk to somebody and she said his name was, I think she said his name was Joseph or Jesse or something like that with a J. It was, it, we were kind of getting kind of scared. Okay, so, um, nothing's really scary used to happen with, you know, whoever she used to talk to. She used to just say it was her imaginary friend. And, I mean, we were just like, okay, we just played it off. But later, now that she's older, we kind of asked her about it. And she said that it was a little boy she used to see. But, it wasn't scared. Okay. Um, the little girl used to talk, she used to hear her, the little niece talking to somebody. She said one time they were under the, she, the little girl was under the kitchen table. And, um, so the little, they heard the little girl under the kitchen table say like, fine, here. And they were like, what happened? And she was like. The little girl, the little girl with the red hair, with the curly red hair wanted my cookie. And so I gave it to her and she said, no, I, I remember the story. She said, no, I want all the cookies with like, and she was mean to her. Like she was mad at her and she made a mean face at her. And she was like, they were like, what? So, um, after that, um, they said they used to hear and see all kinds of things around their, where they lived. And her aunt, she said that her aunt had seen the little girl with the red hair too. And they moved out. They moved out so quick. They said, we, we, we moved out, you know. But this is why I totally believe what they were saying, okay. Let me tell you something about the project. People die there on a daily basis. Like, um, my tia, after everybody had moved out of the projects, my tia had stood in the projects. As I got older, I would go visit my cousins and stuff. Shout out to my tia. Shout out to my cousin, which they still live in the projects. Um, I'm going to post a picture here of the projects how the projects looked before they remodeled them because they did remodel them and now they look so nice but you know what they say they take the hood you can take the girl out of the ghetto but you can't take the ghetto out the girl you know what I mean so it's still ghetto there but hey you know what I really like feel at home when I go there I really feel like love and I feel like you know everybody doesn't get along but everybody gets along but you know, if you fight with somebody, if somebody else goes over there and tries to fight with somebody over there, they're all going to go against you, even though they fight amongst each other. It's just like a big family. Um, so, the projects that my aunt used to live at, I used to go there all the time. Every time, I remember when I was a little girl, every time I'd go there, there was a candlelight a candle visual there was flowers there was candles there was little crosses everywhere oh some little kid died here oh you know some guy died in that hallway like there was always people getting shot getting killed you know bodies dead bodies like all over that place there was always a story of somebody seeing something um, seeing spirits, I felt very eerie there. Um, you know, my cousins and my aunts used to experience things in the projects. And another story that I had that I had to tie in with this one, 
um, is that when my grandma used to live in the projects, she actually said that she's seen a spirit of a, like, a, a dwarf. I don't want to say the wrong name, like a little person. I don't want to say the M word because I don't think the M word is a good word to say about a little person. But she called it like a nanito, like a little um, spirit, like a, of a small person, but it wasn't a child. Um, then she said that she seen like an actual, the actual devil himself. And I don't like to say that name. I don't like to say those words. But my grandma said that she did actually see him in her house. And that. My, you know, ever since then, my grandma, like, she doesn't leave the Bible from her side. Like, she has read the Bible back to forth, forth to back. She said like a hundred times, hundreds of times. She just reads the Bible all day, every day. She reads the Bible. She said that when she saw him. But she remembered God. And she remembered not to be scared. So she casted him out of her house. And she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Get out of my house. And that, the D guy, big D guy, yeah, that, that guy, he was like, I'm out of here. That is a woman of God. And he booked it. Let me tell you. Well, my grandma told me that. But you know what? There's so many scary stories. That my grandma has told me. That I won't speak on. Period. With that being said. I love you guys. Stay scary. No, I'm scary. Stay chunky because chunky is beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this um, mukbang. I'm here in the dark. And I'm scared now. So... I'm going to go upstairs. Everybody's upstairs. I'm scared. Guys, peace out.